I knew this was gonna be weird. This being the, the former bus parking spot for Yvonne. Hello, and how are you this lovely Saturday afternoon? Today is not just any Saturday. Today is Unite Burlington, and it's still being set up right now. But that's to be expected, because the event actually starts at six and it's like 4.30 now. And I really should be helping to set up, but I wanted to go ahead and get this clip in. I'm Sherry Morris with A Heart's Cry. We're a pregnancy resource and a counseling ministry, and we work with women from the time they're pregnant until the baby's two years old with diapers, wipes, formula, all kinds of stuff. We're in Graham beside Biscuit Bill, so when you go through the drive-thru and they're taking too long, look right, two-story White House, that's us. Uh, our biggest prayer request is for the moms that come through who are all single moms. We have less than 1% who are married that come through our doors, and this is my 18th year. Mm. And I would ask you to pray that we can push them forward to get their GED, the most important thing, to get a job, which a job will take them off of your and my tax dollars. And that's not a bad thing because the Department of Social Services does help a great deal, but they can only do so much. And because we can talk about Jesus, we can do whatever God allows us to do. So just pray for the women that come through that front door. Thank you. I'm Sharon Brignan, and I'm with SAFE, that's Southern Alliance Family Empowerment. And it says that we're a food ministry, but we're a little bit more than that. What we're looking at is empowering families who really need food right now to do other things, seek out other sources. So we offer a listing of job opportunities. We help with um, other agencies. We partner with other agencies and um, for health care and for food other than ours, our ministry, because we know what we offer is not gonna last them a whole month, and they can't come back for at least a month. Um, so our prayer would be for their realization that they can move forward, they can lift themselves up, and that we can be an instrument in getting them to where they need to be. Uh, good evening, my name is William Green. Uh, I'm a staff member at the Peep Mount Rescue Mission. Uh, it's a ministry that helps men uh, who done lost everything and who done fell in hard times. Uh, we deal in the ministry. Uh, we deal in Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Got guys that come in there that done tried everything else from alcohol to drugs and this and that. But we deal with Jesus Christ. And uh, that's just one part of our ministry. The other part of our ministry, we have a pregnancy side dealing with women who want to have abortions. Uh, what we do, we minister to the women. Uh, a lot of times the women, they get saved, and after they get saved, their boyfriends might get saved, and most of all, that baby gets saved, amen? Uh, we give out diapers, milk, and you know, a lot of stuff that the babies need. That's part two. Part three of our ministry is we have a facility that's being renovated in South of City uh, called Grace Haven. It was set up for juveniles, but now it's being renovated, it's going to be set up for the men who come in the mission. Once they get their lives together, they can take the trip and go to, down there with their wives and their family and kind of cool out down there, you know. It's got a pond, it, 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 it's, it's a lovely place in Silent City. Uh, the fourth part of our ministry is our thrift store. We have a thrift store on Church Street and we have a thrift store in Silent City. As Brother Honeycutt would say, what you need to do is bring your old stuff there and donate it and then buy our old stuff. Amen? You know, that's, that helps fund the mission. And uh, it's a great ministry. Uh, I've been there going on six years now. So God has blessed me. And uh, it's, it's, it's a blessing to be there. And, you know, I thank God for that ministry. And uh, anytime that y'all need help, let us know. Uh, we have a choir at the mission. If you need some guys to come and sing some good hymnals, Call the people my rescue mission. Amen? Amen. I'm with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. My name is Alex Mevin. Um, and I've been active with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. In fact, Grove Park Church hosted an event in 1979 at which I gave my heart to Jesus Christ. Uh, called a Weekend of Champions, which was an FCA event. Gary Baldwin was a guy very instrumental in that, who was one of my spiritual mentors. So FCA and Grove Park are near and dear to me. So what I'm doing now is I've come back home, and I'm basically representing Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Uh, the, the vision of FCA is, is this, to see the world impacted for Jesus Christ, 
through the influence of athletes and coaches. It's a very simple vision statement. So that's what I'm about. Now, how do I do that? There are four areas. And then I'll sit down, John. The four C's. Camps. We just sent over 80 kids from this county to FCA camps this summer at five different places around the state. Football, baseball, basketball, all kinds of camps. Um, so camps is a big deal. Campus is getting ready to gear up. We have campus huddles at middle schools, high schools, Elon University. For example, this Monday, John and I will be over there feeding the football staff at Elon through FCA ministry, handing them a Bible, handing them you know, a devotional, encouraging them. Um, so that's the second C is, 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 uh, is uh, campus. Then there's coaches ministries in particular. Again, I wear John out. He's involved in some of our coaches ministries where every Wednesday morning at two different locations, we have coaches Bible studies that we resource and, and we feed the coaches at Chick-fil-A and then over at, uh, uh, I can't remember the place, Dottie's, Dottie's and Graham, I think it is, off 87. Um, so that's coaches ministry. And then the last C is community. The best example of that is Springwood Park. Literally thousands of kids have heard the gospel through the FCA chapel service that I provide for them when all these kids from all over the place come in for these weekend softball tournaments. So camps, campus, coaches, and community, uh, your prayer is simply for God to continue to show me where the next opportunity is, and that's where I go. And if you want to know more, you can see me over there at that table. So that was Unite Burlington. I hate to use the word disappointed because I know that really I shouldn't focus too much on who didn't turn out to an event like this. But the fact of the matter is there wasn't really nearly as much attendance as we were hoping. We still had people there and we've got to focus on, you know, there are people who were there who are out ready to make a difference. But it's hard knowing how many people we invited and how few actually made it a priority for them. I'm super tired. It's only like 9.50 but I am honestly just gonna be in for the night pretty much. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.